welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. And today, guys, I am at Tim Hortons doing their breakfast. I haven't had a sandwich item or anything from Tim Hortons in years. So I guess I can say this is my first time because I can't even remember when it was, if I even did. So Tim Hortons for breakfast, what did I get? I got a combo, okay? I got the Farmer's Breakfast Wrap Grilled Combo. Grilled Farmer's Breakfast Wrap Combo. You get a hash brown. Um, this is supposed to be a wrap that's grilled. It's got, I asked for bacon, not sausage, because I'm not a big sausage fan. And we're gonna, I'm gonna get it out here. I'm gonna explain the prices. I'm gonna taste test it for you. I'm gonna tell you what I like or don't like about it. And I'm gonna rate it, one being the worst, 10 being the best, or somewhere in between. And I do wanna say, this is a 100% honest review, guys. My goal is to save you money. So if I like it and it sounds good and I've rated it high, then you could spend your money if you want to. But if I don't like it, then you got an option, you know, do you wanna waste your money or do you wanna buy it, you know? Just trying to save you guys some money. So anyway, if that all sounds good to you guys, I please ask you to subscribe. Show the subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free, it's easy. And if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, I understand. But can you give me a thumbs up? Just asking for a little support for my channel, and that's the easiest way to support me. And I do want to say, Sometimes I don't say it because I get so excited, but I want to say thank you for your support, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the thumbs up. It really means the world to me. It really does, and I love you for it. Uh, comment. Is there a favorite Tim Hortons thing that you like? Uh, comment down below. It could be breakfast. It could be their lunch. It could be one of their drinks. I would like to review it. Like I said, I haven't had anything in so long. I mean, the last thing I obviously remember having is a couple of their coffees. And I've never been big on Tim Hortons. So, let's find out. So, I got the hash brown. I got the wrap. Come on, Tim Hortons, you don't give me no napkins. Thank goodness I have napkins in the car. Let's try this hash brown. It feels a little... It's in this big bag wrapped up, guys. <laughs> I do know if you buy the hash browns separate here in Ohio, now it's, this is the size of it. Separate in Ohio, if you buy the hash brown, they're charging $1.69 for that. I think that's a little high. I think this is might be a little smaller than McDonald's hash brown. It's a narrow, narrower, I believe. Um, but we'll explain the prices. But I'm just saying, if you bought this single... It's a dollar sixty-nine. Let's give it some whirl. Give it a taste. Give it a whirl. Whatever we're doing with it. <laughs> it's got that crisp to it. Now here's the question. Do I like this hash brown better than McDonald's hash brown? And I've also had the Taco Bell hash brown. They're all very similar. I think I like McDonald's a little better and Taco Bell's a little better than this. But this isn't bad. If you like having a hash brown with your breakfast, it's not bad. It's a little salty. It's definitely crispy. It's got that still little bit of a potato, you know, chunk chew to it. It's not all mushy, which I can appreciate it. If it was all mushy, I would hate it, you know, because I like that texture. Like I said, I do like McDonald's and Taco Bell's hash brown just a little better than this. But I mean, this is edible. Uh, I'm going to tell you my rating, score ratings, guys, um, explain them to you. So a five or below is don't waste your money. Get something else. <laughs> Just don't buy it, okay? A six to a seven is it's okay. You can try it if you want to. 
Anything above a seven, I, I recommend. As it gets closer to a 10, I highly recommend. Okay, those hash browns, I mean, they're neither here nor there, you know, they're not bad. I'm not saying not to buy them. So I got to give them like a 7.5. They're not my favorite, but I think they're worth it if you got to have a hash brown with your breakfast. I mean, wasn't bad, wasn't great. Okay, let's check out this wrap. They put it in another one of these bags, wrap it all up. It's supposed to be grilled. Now in a picture, they show nice grill marks. You can barely see the grill marks on this thing, guys. Barely. I mean, can you just leave it in there a few more seconds and get some grill marks? So anyway, this wrap, that hash brown, and a medium coffee, comes in a combo, hot coffee, comes in a combo. Here in Ohio, it was $7.70. With tax, it was like eight oh nine or something like that. So I got egg, hash brown in here, bacon, cheese. I'm kind of glad I tried the hash brown stuff, but that way I can I know what I'm getting into here, guys. I'm not gonna tear it all open for you. It's, I mean, it's pretty thick here in the middle. It's mostly all here in the middle. Let's get some bites out of this thing. See if it's even worth it. I think this separate, yeah, this separate, they would charge $5.69 for it. So if, right now, at my assessment is do get a combo because why pay five, almost $6 for this when you can get a coffee too in the combo? Okay, let's get some bites off this thing. Okay, so I didn't order through the app. I did through the drive-thru, right? I ordered through the drive-thru. This egg, I bit into it, it's a little rubbery, right? So I know they didn't cook it to order. They cook up, a, you know, these eggs and let them sit in a warmer or whatever. I mean, what time is it right now? It's at like 9.15. So this egg's been sitting around for a, long, or a while. I don't know how long. I don't even want to think about it at the moment. But it's been sitting around for a while. But I like the hash brown in this. The bacon tastes pretty good in this too. It's a little crispy. I'm trying to look for some cheese. One more bite. I seriously think they forgot my cheese. Mm -mm. I can barely taste it. It's like a white processed cheese. Okay. I was wanting to hate this thing. I really was. But it's not bad. Like if I have to go to work early and get something to eat, which is my thing today, and I wanted to stop and get you know something quick something i can handle i could probably drive and eat this okay it's not bad it's not would i regularly come and get this probably not so i gotta rate it i gotta rate it a seven it's a seven it's something quick hold on a minute i feel like i got tortilla on my tooth cut one napkin and get them all um yeah i gotta give it a seven it's not bad it's edible i'm gonna be full after i eat this and the rest of that hash brown it's not bad it's just not something i would regularly go out and get so if you have a favorite tim hortons drink or food item or bakery item comment excuse me comment down below let me know what it is because i would love to try it I have a black coffee. Now, I haven't had a black coffee in a while. One of my really good friends, Dawn, I haven't talked to her for a while. Uh, she needs to call me or I need to message her or something. 
but she swore by Tim Hortons black coffee, just cream and sugar, and that's all I did. I haven't had it in a while. She used to always get a uh, get us a, a coffee before she came to work, and I always I I did enjoy their black coffee. So that got it pretty light too. I like a lot of cream. Mm. Tastes about the same as I remember. It's it's fairly good coffee, guys. It's not super strong. I get it pretty light. You can tell them as many creams as you want. You got a little sugar in it. Their coffee really isn't bad. So if you think um, Starbucks coffee is too strong, too bitter, no matter which one you've gotten, and you haven't tried Tim Hortons, try Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is more for the person that likes coffee, but doesn't like that super strong bitter coffee, okay? And you can tell them what they got some flavors they got chocolate caramel i just got plain creamer with some sugar if you're like you know that type of person i like flavor coffees too but i just i just wanted the how i've had it before so this coffee it is it's fairly good coffee for me if i were to just get a hot coffee i would i would get tim hortons i mean i gotta rate their coffee i i mean seriously for not being a super strong coffee, for being a, like an enjoyable, smooth coffee, I gotta rate their coffee like an 8.5. I mean, it's not horribly bad for me. I like it. Thank you, Don, for getting me hooked on uh, Tim Hortons uh, coffee. Just their uh, plain black coffee and put cream and sugar in it. That's how she always got it. <laughs> She'd always just order me one. She goes, this is exactly how I get it. However many creams. I can't even remember what, how many creams she used to put in it. She liked it light too. And this is how many sugars I get in. I got you one exactly like how I like it. She used to bring me one. But I really liked it. She liked it a little bit sweeter than I did. But after we worked out our thing, then she would get me, you know, one that had a little less sugar in it. But it is decent coffee. It is, so... That's it, guys. That's all I have for you today. That's it. I gotta go into work early. If you haven't watched my video from yesterday, excuse me, the gourmet funnel cakes, please do so. At the end, I have a special message for all my subscribers, especially for the ones that's been around for a while. I know a lot of you ask a lot of questions, and we are gonna, me and Dad's gonna do a Q&A video at some point here. But um, y'all ask a lot of questions, you know, to get to know me better and to get to know my father better. Better. So please watch the funnel, the gourmet Glazem gourmet funnel cakes video that has posted would be posted yesterday. Um, the one right before this one, okay, and it's got a special message at the end. Um, my work is changing around, so I'm going into work a little early. So I'm going to do some early videos. You might see quite a few little breakfast reviews, and I'm sorry for that, but <laughs> I can't do lunch. Most places don't serve lunch at 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to sneak a couple of lunch ones right at the cutoff, you know, line of lunch, because i got to get to work a little earlier. But anyway, please watch that video. Please watch my message at the end. And, uh... I thank you guys for everything. I thank you for your support. I thank you for your respectfulness. I thank you for all that. I really, really do. And I'm going to let you go, guys. I'm going to quit rambling. I hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack, guys. But most of all, I hope you have a great day. Have a great day. And until next time, bye-bye.